So if right now you're someone who is looking to get a jacked physique and maybe you're struggling with it, etc., etc., and all of a sudden you read that and you've been busting your ass in the gym for one hour, 90 minutes, two hours, all of a sudden you are going to read that, probably just because it's how the human brain works. So I'm over the board a-hole here looking like I'm about to go do some ninja stuff, which would be awesome. And we continue on our journey to try and shut down ridiculous fits and nonsense and fitness articles that you will see out there in the wider world that basically are trying to tell you, tee hee hee, you don't need to spend any time in the gym in the fitness palace of love. When I tell you right now, the too long didn't read is that yes, of course you do. You gotta put some time in. I mean, that should be your motto for life. Now, recently I got set this on the sun on my Instagram account, assignment of 316. Please do DM me and send me stuff like this. And it says, wait a sec which is a pun w-e-i-g-h-t so once again you're laughing lifting weights for just three seconds a day is enough to build muscles study finds and as always when we bring up a study take it with a pinch of salt you can find a study for everything but it does say lifting weights for just three seconds a day is enough to build muscles a single maximum effort rep five days a week for a month was found to boost couch potatoes is biceps strength by up to 12 percent it shows out of condition or older people can beef up without long gym sessions researchers say professor ken nasaka said if we find the three second rule applies to other muscles you may be able to do a whole body exercise in less than 30 seconds also performing only one maximal contraction per day means you do not get sore as if that's a problem i love doms i live for doms many people think you have to spend a lot of time exercising but it's not the case short quality exercise can still be good for your body the findings are from a test on 39 unfit students they perform just one biceps curl once a day for five days a week over four weeks it goes on and on and on and i was like right this is on a stupid website anyway so i left there and i found one that was on a more reputable website we'll see and they're kind of less over the top with it but then i found the actual study the only thing that you need to focus on i'm not kidding you so this is the actual study right here uh, i'm not going to read it because i'm not going to be able to read it at all because when i do these videos i go crazy but we go to the second paragraph and what does it say young sedentary individual sedentary couch potatoes lazy not doing anything that's the reason it was able to work we've talked about it here on this channel before if right now you have never done any fitness in your life and you think you're out of shape you think you're out of weight out of weight overweight and you feel like you need to go get uh, well to go and sort it out go for a five minute walk and do this seven days a week and in two weeks time or well, even 24 hours time you will be doing more fitness and more exercise than you were before so you will be getting in better shape and exactly the same with this if your weightlifting experience to this point is nothing nada zero i ain't doing it jack then if all of a sudden you do one lift for three seconds or whatever it is of course you're going to see some sort of improvement or some sort of increase because you've gone from nothing to one that's not even a hundred percent increase because that doesn't make any sense but it's more than what the flub you were doing this is why i get really mad about these articles like it doesn't matter but straight away if we go back to the silly one look at the headline right lifting weights for just three seconds a day is enough to build muscle so if right now you're someone who is looking to get a jacked physique and maybe you're struggling with it etc etc and all of a sudden you read that and you've been busting your ass in the gym for one hour 90 minutes two hours all of a sudden you are going to read that probably just because it's how the human brain works miss the part when it talks about couch potatoes and sedentary people and people not do anything and all of a sudden start shrinking your workouts and then you're not going to get where you want to be i don't even know why we're doing this study to begin with like i promise you this even if you are one of these individuals that benefited you were in this study after around about i would say a month two months maybe three months let's you know give it the benefit of the doubt let's go three months or a quarter of a year you are absolutely going to have to start increasing the intensity you're gonna have to start increasing the workload you're gonna have to start increasing the amount of exercise and sets and reps you're doing and you are going like i've already said at the start of this thing you're gonna have to put the time in i don't want to be the bearer of bad news but there is no quick fix there is no shortcut there is no easy path to this i don't like using the word easy i love going to the gym going to the gym is one of my favorite things to do when i'm not out doing my ninja skills i'm lucky i suppose in that regard because some people don't want to go to the gym but what you have to do and i get i repeat myself a lot but hey every time i see these articles i'm going to smash it into your brain what you have to do is you have to find a way to enjoy it and to the point where you read something like that and you're like, well, I don't want to do it for three seconds a day. Let's tie it into sex. Let's say you're well into sex. I'm going to imagine a lot of people watching this are into that. I get it. Sometimes it does last three seconds. You know, <laughs> these things happen. But the point was, if you can elongate it, that's what you're going to try to do. So you want to take that and you want to apply it to the gymnasium. You want to apply it to the fitness palace of love. Because then, even if you are doing 90-minute sessions or whatever it may be, you don't feel like it's a long time. In fact, you're looking forward to going. The time just flies by as if you're on some kind of a roller coaster. Stuff like this is just, it's just a trick. It's just sending you down the wrong pathway. And once again, I don't even understand why we decided to do this. I could have told you it. 
It's like if you don't eat Cheetos and you start eating one Cheeto a day, I can guarantee you that you are now eating more Cheetos a day. It's the same with this. Any kind of stimulus to your bicep when you don't have stimulus is going to sort of, you know, start heading you in that direction. But your body is going to get used to it very quickly. Do not forget, not too quick like some people do. But after a certain period of time, and it's going to be very unique to you, it's very individual to your own routine, you are going to have to switch things up because your body basically works out what you're trying to do. And it's like, well, you're trying to put me under all this stress. You're trying to put me under all this resistance. And I will change it first. But then it adapts, right? It gets aware of what you're doing. Basically, what it's doing is trying to protect you. Because again, your cortisol levels shoot up. So, oh, I don't want to do that anymore. And that's when you've got to change things up, be it doing more reps, doing less reps, start doing heavy stuff, start doing light stuff. I mean, there's so many variations. I don't want to throw them all out here because they're deeper than that. I don't want to make it to feel like it's a shallow thing. And it's going to be even more with this because you're not dedicating enough time in order to get in the size you want. And if this was true, why the hell would professional bodybuilders not be doing it? So always when you read this stuff, look for the key words. I'm looking at it right now. Couch potatoes, which seems a little bit unfair because that's basically an insult. But there's just no way that this is true. So just anytime you see it, if it sounds like it's baloney, it's 100% baloney. It's good for headlines and it's good for clicks. And it wouldn't surprise me if maybe Maybe that's why they commissioned the whole thing to begin with because they were like well we can put it on websites and stuff and you'll get your name out there and everybody will come and read it and it happened to me people sent it to me the best part is when they did have their groups and this is only because they do that in all their studies you had your bunch of 30 students whatever it was that have done known gym exercise now doing a little bit of gym exercise show some muscle improvement but they also had a group that didn't do anything <laughs> that's what they did so they had someone doing these three second exercises and then on the other side they had people that continued to do nothing and surprise surprise they saw no increase from them but they did see a little bit of increase over here and again this was tiny percentage we're talking about in terms of the progress that they did make and so i suppose once again it's trying to dilute down what health and fitness should be health and fitness should be a lifestyle right it should be your diet it should be the way you're living it should be something that you can embrace which you feel improves your life it shouldn't be a hardship and it shouldn't be stressing you out all of the time so all of this is needless. Like, it just is. Of course, it would be great if it was that easy. Do you don't think how... I mean, look, I like going to the gym, right? But if I knew I just had to go there for 10 seconds, that would free up the day for a lot more things to do. And again, the one thing you're never going to be able to buy back is life. But it just take it and throw it out of the window. Flush it down the toilet. Continue to do what works for you. And I'm not saying you have to go for 60 minutes in the gym. If you're intense enough and you're still doing progressive overload and you're eating right, probably 45 minutes is going to be okay. Even half an hour. But I still think even then you're going to be running into some problems down the line. But there is no right or wrong answer. Apart from this, this is a wrong answer. You need to be in the gym more than 20 minutes is what I'm going to say. Unless you're doing some kind of cardio or something like that. But when it comes to weight training, you shouldn't even be ready to go after 20 minutes. You should be doing 15 minutes of a warm-up before you even start to zone in. I understand why we're doing this stuff. We're going to continue to do this stuff. It's almost as if we just want to get to a point where we can watch as much television as possible and then spend 9 o'clock, 9 p.m. to 9.05, and three minutes of that is heading to the Fitness Palace of Love. We then do two minutes of exercise, and we go home and sit down and watch Netflix again. And I love television, and I love Netflix, and I love movies, and I love video games. But why they can't all work in tandem with one another, I never know. But it's not. It's a constant fight, and then you get baloney like this. So yes, now, look, there's a comment box below there. Let me know what you think about all of it. Maybe you've read it, and you think, wow, that sounds fascinating. Maybe you're going to try it. And if you are, get in touch with me, and I promise you, after a while, you're not going to see anything. I mean, three seconds. And they're only doing bicep curls. Don't forget that, too. I should have mentioned it. Your bicep is one of the smallest muscles. And there's two of them, obviously. But it's one of the smallest muscles in your body. How the hell are you going to do this with your back? How the hell are you going to do this with your legs? Do you know why leg day is a meme? Because you have to pulverize your legs. I mean, they're literally designed and built to keep you stood up for the majority of the day. So when you're actually trying to sort of spring them into life to grow, to evolve, of course it's going to be really hard and you ain't doing nothing in three seconds. I mean, it takes longer to go to the toilet. Also, please do like the video, share the video and subscribe to the bell ding ding. So you know other videos going live. There is a video on the screen. Please do give it a click or we'll be there in a second. Gorillamind.com forward slash Simon. You just go to Simon get 10% off. These are supplements I do use and there should be a video around the time you're watching this where you can check it out and I go through why I use them, why I like them and hopefully that helps you a little bit. If not, just ignore it. That's fine as well. Also in Greg Doucette's Power 30, cookbook in the description below the link sorry i should say with a code to get some money off come send me this kind of stuff at simon316 and twitter and instagram when you are there please do give me a follow patreon.com forward slash simon316 if you want to support this and all my personal projects including my wrestling podcast if you're interesting of course otherwise you're not going to get it i'm on cameo if you want to shout out simon.bigcartel.com for merch but otherwise whatever you're training today 
go to the gym and kick some serious ass. And even if you do want to leave after three seconds, continue to persevere because I promise you, when you finally find your flow, you're going to be loving it. It's always the way. See you soon.